welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Detroit Tigers going up against the Atlanta Braves. First pitch coming your way next. All right, just about ready for baseball. And going for Atlanta, Chris Sale. Tell us about him in that sub-3 ERA, Siggy. Well, anytime you can keep your ERA under three, you're doing a lot of things right, and you're putting your team in a position to win a lot of ball games as well. And he's doing tremendous out there on the mound. Every time he gets the ball, you expect him to go out there and dominate, and that's what he's been to this point. We'll see how he is today. Oh, Matt Veerling, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. And sale deals into center puts it away for the out let's take a check of the Tigers lineup we could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out a lot of lift and separate Chris well, we know guys are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So, you know, you'll see at times, I'm sure, with two strikes, what looks like a half swing they can get out of the ballpark with a guy who's got decent pop. That in third. The right and field. now here's a speed Wentzel. threat. Outfielder, Perez. Wenzel Perez. A switch hitter batting right. That's off the mark. Ball one. One and out. Sale delivers. Oh. Man, at first one away. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. Over to first, and he saved. In for a strike. One and two. Pitch. Got him. Two gone now. Here's Mark Canna. And first offering is fouled off. That one wrapped foul. Good no, eye on that spot. Ball. It's a good take. One ball, two straight. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Green, the runner at first with two gone. Center field. Harris has a beat on it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. One left for Detroit, and now the Braves with their first chance to hit. We're scoreless. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back at Truist Park, and today's starting pitcher, Tarek Skubal. Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club, and what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him, and it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point, maybe it's the motion, but just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. 
The lefty fires. Michael oh, Harris in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Next one off the plate inside and a count two and one. Wouldn't chase that time. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. And now the lefty. And that's a strike. And boy, that was the pitch. 3 1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that That's speed incredible. off the base pass, it's, it's not just the pitcher, it's Harvey. other guys that have to think about Harvey. it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Off the mark there, and it's one, one and ball. one. One strike. Inside, just missed. One out, base is empty. Bounce to the left side, and it goes just foul. The wind and the pitch. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. And that's strikeout number 100 on the year. Well, there appears to be no problem settling in on the mound out there today. It looks pretty tough to start this one. Punched out the first two hitters of this ball game. And somebody's going to have to put the bat on the ball, put it in play, and get something going. And here it comes. That just misses. One and one. And he can't come up with it. But they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. Braves go down quickly here, scoreless after one. Here in Atlanta, here's Gio Urshela. The third baseman, number 13. With Chris Sale Gio on the mound today for Atlanta, Urshela. I was thinking a bit about his career and his expectations here with the Braves. I think the biggest change for him is the fact that he won't be required to carry the entire pitching staff. This team will be able to survive if he has one of those tough stretches. That's out to center field. Harris has a beat on it. Squeezes it, and there's one down. And now the rookie second baseman, Colt Keith. Keith throws right, bats left. 22 years old. And he was a fifth round pick in 2020. Sale. He gets a lot of swing and miss. And he keeps the ball in the yard. Not to mention the fact, not too many hits either. That one ripped, but foul. Even some of the best guys in the sport are going to give up home runs from time to time, and he's an exception. Yeah, and even with those home runs, if you're throwing strikes and keeping base runners off the paths, then those home runs are solo shots. But to this point, he hasn't had to worry about it. The 2-1. You look at what the elite guys do, they strike guys out, they limit walks, and they limit the ball going out of the park. Now the inside corner for a strike. Yeah, all you want is a guy like that, take the ball every fifth day, go out there, hand it over to the bullpen, perhaps in the seventh inning or later. The wind of the pitch. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. 
He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Two outs, space is empty. And up next for Detroit, Justin Henry Malloy. Ball one and a pitch inside. Sale ready. Foul ball there. And a big swing and a miss. One and two. This one popped up. Olsen makes the grab, and that's the inning. Down in order go the Tigers. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And we're back. Leading Stepping in the long three. ball threat, Matt Olson. One of the things that helped Olsen in Olsen. 2023, a stance adjustment, and that as well kept him more balanced for less swing and miss. The pitch. And a swing and a miss there. Love to see it. Power versus power right there. Next one misses, and one, one and one. one Rusty Valentine calling balls and strikes. Book, something I hear from hitters about Valentine is they know they don't have to protect off the plate too much in two strike counts, and that can be a big deal in terms of your confidence and seeing some pitches in that at bat. High fly ball out towards left field. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next hitter to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. Here's Austin Riley. There's the strike. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Man at second. Just off the inside corner. Now one and two. Started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, no swing. Olsen stands at second with no outs. Kicks and deals. And that just misses. Smash to center, way back, and you can forget it. Home run. That was blasted to the moon. The Braves score first. It's 2-0. He kept swinging, and it paid off. Well, that was a battle, Boog, and he just kept taking his cuts. He finally squared one up. Pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. So here's Murphy now. Swing and a miss, strike one. Can Come be on. tough to bounce one back strike. after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning.
This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. And there's one away. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not that allowing it to stay in right the head, field. but going to work at the next know. hitter. And a tough one at that. Duvall. Adam Duvall at the plate. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Come on, Brad. Swing and a high fly ball in the air, left field. Back there. And it's gone. Second home run of the inning for them. And they tack on to their lead. It's 3-0. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. Power versus power right there. Like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. So one out, nobody on. Here's Jared Kelnick. Off the plate, 1-0. One, oh. one ball, no strike. Still only one out here in the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. There's the swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. One down, base is empty. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Kicks and fires. Out there to center. Under it. Makes the catch for the out. And there are two down. Batting none. Not shortstop. Here's Orlando Arcia. Arcia. Strike of the outside corner. 0-1. The shortstop takes the ball. One and one. Two gone. Base is empty, but three runs across. Bottom half of inning number two. In there. And so now one and two. And another ball. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put them away. That one misses. Three and two now. Michael Harris next to bat for the Braves. And here's a three two. Lifted in the air right center field. Perez settles under this one. Hauls it in to end the inning. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now 3-0. Back after this on the show. All set for the start of the inning. And now Jake Rogers. Jake Rogers. Roger. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have yep. a shutdown inning. Don't give that other oh, team Mark. any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. That one ripped left field. That's back. That's not coming back. And they cut into the lead. It's 3-1. Two pitches, two swings, that one for a home run. Looking to be aggressive all the way, and it paid off for him in a big way. When you're working.
working with this kind of velocity so critical that you move the ball around work quickly and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity he was all over that fastball next to hit Ryan Kreidler no ball one straight. And a foul ball. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Well, there he gets the slider in on his hands, and it just eats him off. You know, it's hard to get the bat around on a pitch like that in tight. You just feel like you're crowded on the inside part of the plate. Can't get any extension. That's what he definitely should have laid off of. Veerling in the box with one away as he takes ball one. One run across in the frame so far. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And that one is in for a strike. Bounce to the right. Albies over to first in time. That's it out. The batter, the designated hitter, Riley Green. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Riley Green. One for one with a single so far. Ball Missed one. with a changeup. Ball Good one. Ball. No straight. No. Just missed. Two and oh. That one at 95 missed up top, and now 3 and 0. Oh. And there's oh, ball four. four. Trying to work his way back into the count right there, but so yeah, much for that. Pretty good pitch, but just doesn't get the call on 3 0. Man at first, and next to hit for Detroit, Wenzel Perez. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. Slice down the right side. Green off of first with two away. Two outs. Bounced up the middle. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Boom, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, this speedster gets the infield single, and now he's on base to possibly do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in a position to do so. Next to hit, Mark Canna. First pitch misses. First and second, two down. And there's a foul ball. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, I want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field now. And another ball. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. And he deals. And strike two. Chases that one out of the zone. Good job at damage control right there. But not before they answer back with a solo home run. It's now a 3-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Set for the bottom of the third. Now in for the Braves, Michael Harris. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. First pitch, no, and he ball. just misses. So how much does his speed factor into his ability to go get it? It's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat, he thinks this ball's going to get down. 
because of that speed and the ability to make up so much ground he enters the picture and breaks a guy's heart. Gets a piece and stays alive. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. Struck out swinging his first time. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play a, a ton of baseball as a kid. And a foul ball. Remember Mark Kotze was a real good defensive outfielder. Good instincts, not great speed. And a pitch. That one fouled off. Yeah, and I figured you would get Kotze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. One and two. In the dirt, blocked. No movement. Now a ball and two strikes. Nobody out. Runner at first. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Malloy sizing this one up. Malloy makes the play. Now that the designated hitter. Here's Marcelo Zuna. He's over one. The Chris through the early stages. He hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Run around the move. Foul ball there. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. The 1 2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Step off throw to first, and he's back in standing. Here's a one two. Next offering misses down and away. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Oh, okay. Crushed. Left center field. This one's deep. Forget it. Home run number 20 on the year. And they add a couple more. It's 5-1. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Well, he saw a lot of pitches in this at bat, and in this 3-2 count, he got something he could handle. Wasn't fooled. Did a really nice job in approaching and attacking that baseball. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. Doubled in his first A.B. And that one fouled off. You almost have to feel bad for Matt Olson after what happened in 2023. He played every game, hit 54 home runs, drove in 139, led the league in slugging, and he still wasn't even named a finalist for the National League MVP award. That one pushed foul. In all seriousness, I don't think anyone is feeling bad for Matt Olson. 2023 was a phenomenal season for him, whether he was an MVP finalist or not. 
Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Nice. Doubled up with the slider for that punch out. The one before just caught the zone. So as a hitter, you have to protect right there. Great pitch to just expand a little bit more. He got that chase he was looking for. That right there is good pitching. Austin Riley digs in now. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. The pitch. Now fly ball to right center. Perez makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Braves pick up two on the long ball. It's now a 5-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back at Truist Park as we go to the top of the fourth. And now, Gio Urshela. Gio Urshela. Here comes a pitch. To third, Riley. Gets it to Out. first. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. The batter, the second baseman, Colt Keith. Colt Keith up now for the Tigers. There's a strike. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top level guy like this. Base is empty, one away. Top half of inning number four. Left hand hitter waits. One Not ball. even close there. And the count is one and two. Got him looking. Fastball at the letters, froze him for strike three. Two outs, base is empty. And next up for the Tigers, Justin Henry Malloy. 0 for 1 so far. First pitch swinging. Oh, and two now as he swings through it. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. On the ground to short, Arcia sends it across the first, and the Tigers retired one, two, three. Tigers are shut down there. They're down five, one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's Sean Murphy. The catcher. Scoobal back to work. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. You know, these Braves do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. Not only have they already put up a bunch of runs on the board, but they've also made the starter work really hard out there. Adam Duvall next up for the Braves. He's already homered here in this one. Like I said, his pitch count is high, so I got to expect they'll be turning to their bullpen sooner than they had hoped. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Rogers makes the play. That's out number two. The left fielder, number 24, Jared. Kelnick. Now the left fielder, Jared Kelnick. He's 0 for 1. No. And a good eye there. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. Next offering is foul back. And one and two. <laughs> Left 
left hand batter waits and a swing and a miss and that's that and the Braves go down quietly they lead this one though 5-1. Here in Atlanta, ready now for the fifth inning. And now Jake Rogers. And the pitch. There's the strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. Ball one there. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. And they'll do it again. Wings through that, and it's a strikeout. One out. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Foul ball. That's to third. Riley fires to first. And the first two set down to the top of the fifth. The center fielder, number eight, Matt. Vierling. Back to the top of the lineup. And now the center fielder, Matt Veerling. Swing and a miss as he was late. In the on-deck circle, you really want to use that opportunity to see some pitches and time up the fastball. Oh. Last thing you want to do is miss a good, hittable fastball early in the count. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Gets the call. That is strike two. So far, all we've seen in this at batter fastballs. Look for him to slow it down right here ahead in the count. Two down, nobody on. And looking, that's a strikeout. Offense held a check there. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Braves five and the Tigers one. And we're back. John Chavi with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Orlando Arcia. pitch that's in there strike one movement in the bullpen will vest getting loose for AJ Hinch the wind of the pitch the shortstop takes the ball and that's in for a strike And now the lefty. That's a ball. Careful. Wouldn't chase that time. Yeah. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And here it comes. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Corrals it, and there's one down. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay closed. 
back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Michael Harris next up for the Braves. One for two. First offering and it just misses. Now a drag bunt, third base side. Not in time, and he reaches safely. Well, Singy, that was really nice looking. Able to get it down and in a good spot. And he makes it look easy. Bat angle was perfect. Barrel stayed above the hands. Could almost walk to first. AJ Hitch makes another pitching change. Eric Skubal done for the afternoon, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. Will Vest into the game. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year, so the defense should be active. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Albies measures five feet eight inches, 27 years old, and he's a native of Curacao. Righty to the plate. Huh. Harris leads off first with one away. Pickoff throw, and he's back in there. The pitch. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. It might be time to choke up a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Two and two. Not close with that one. Two and two. At the belt and fires. Stays alive. Two two now. Battling here as he fouls it away. Just misses with that one. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Zuna up to the plate for the third time as he looks at one down low. Fastball for a strike. The Braves trying to break this one open. Last half of inning number five. Chop to third. And he picks it up in foul territory. Right-handed reliever just missed. Got it by him for the K. Typically that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. 
Here is Matt Olson. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Two on, two outs. Fought off foul. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. A couple of strikeouts with runners on. Sometimes you got to really bear down, and he did just that. Nice job of getting out of the jam and out of the inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now the number two hitter, Riley Green. Riley Green. Sale back to work. On the ground to third. Throw on to Olsen. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Wenzel Perez up now for the Tigers. Mark there, and it's one to no. Base is empty, one away, and we're in the top half of the sixth. And they're at the knees, and it's one and one. The one one is fouled off. One down, base is empty. The punch out there. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Chris, third time through the order, and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today, economical with the pitch count. So now it's the four hole hitter, Mark Canna. And first offering is fouled off. Pitch. Whoa. Well, it's been a One very ball. impressive One outing strike. so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the strike zone, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. Hit hard on the ground is short. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. So they go quietly there. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the 5 6 7 slots do up. It's the Braves five and the Tigers one. Bottom of the six. Now it's going to be Austin Riley. The third baseman. Austin Riley. And he deals. Oh. That one misses, and that's ball oh, yeah. one. And the righty deals. Bounced out to short. Kreidler. Fires across yeah. the diamond. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Sean Murphy. Sean Murphy, the next to hit. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Fastball for a strike. And it's one and one. And the right hater deals. Headed down the line. Paris on his way over. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. 
Now batting, right fielder, Adam Duvall. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Adam Duvall. He launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off onto the right foot. Here's a high chopper. Tosses to first. And that is the inning. Braves are set down 1-2-3. They're up 5-1. Back at Truist Park. Gio Urshela to the plate. The Tigers in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. Well, these Tigers just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating Time moments. The They've been fooled quite a bit today. The wind and the pitch. Line drive, base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Urshela aboard here at first with nobody out. Next offering is fouled back. On, Kicks and deals. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Kicks and fires. <laughs> Foul back our way, and that's out of play. This isn't a pitcher that softens up when he starts to show signs of fatigue. I mean, his stuff stays sharp. Makes these at-bats more difficult than they normally would be against other pitchers at this stage of the game. Got him swinging. You know, variant speeds can be just as useful for a pitcher as movement. As you see right there, it really was in a great location. But the fact that the velocity change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. Malloy stands in here, takes ball one low. Next offering is in for a strike. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Ground ball up the middle. Dives and he can't hang on. Steps on the back for one to first not in time. Great effort there. Man at first at the play. Jake Rogers. He's already homered in this game. Right through there for a strike. Seems like the hitters are struggling with their timing today. Kind of caught in between that sharp fastball and the nasty slider. I'd like to see him settle on a consistent Woo. pitch. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. Ahead 0-2 in the count. Sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. And a pitch. The Tigers down by four here in the top half of inning number seven. That's the ball. a little bit low.
Hard ground ball, base now. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And that one fouled off. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Kellner snags it, and that is that. Tigers strand a pair. They're down here, five to one. Here in Atlanta, here's the left fielder, Jared Kellner. Let's get it going, Braves. The right hander back to work. And there's a strike. Tigers bullpen with some action. Reese Olsen preparing to come on if needed. Engler also getting ready. Strike two. The pitch. Down and in, He's moved great. his feet. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. And here it comes. That one just misses. Ball two. Got him. One away. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. So up next, Orlando Arcia. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Right through there for a strike. And a pitch. That's outside. And it's one and two. Popped up. Should have this one. Out number two. Now batting. The center fielder. Michael. So the batting order turns over. Here's the center fielder. Michael Harris. First pitch oh, doesn't find the zone. No, Just missed. Right. And that's outside. And now 3 0. Ozzy Albies waiting for a turn at the plate. Two outs, base is empty. And a four pitch walk. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Best. Keeping him close. And 
And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. That pitch clips the outside corner. 0 oh, 2 now. Backdoored him with a breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Paris off of first with two away. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Makes the catch inning over. Now at the plate, Matt Veerling. Sale. Still out there to pitch the eighth and working with a big lead. He's been excellent. Really on his game in this one. And at this point, he wants to finish what he started. And now the lefty. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And it hits the fence. Now he'll turn for second. Duvall quickly throws it in. And they hold him at second. Maybe this is going to be the moment they start the comeback. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Brian Snicker out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. That does it for Chris Sale as the lefty makes way. And a nice effort out of him, no doubt. New arm coming on. We'll be back for that in a moment. Ronaldo Lopez plays. comes on now. Number He's throwing the ball very well Ronaldo. overall this season. He's been really Lopez. tough to get to. You see that ERA, and that's where you love to be. So, man aboard. Riley Green up now for the Tigers. And that's no, off that's the inside edge. Ball one. No outs. Runner on second. And now two and nothing. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Here comes a pitch. And a strike right through there. That one in triple digits. Clobber to right field way back. A gigantic blast. His 13th home run of the season. It's 5-3. They needed that one, Singy. Indeed they did. They've been fighting to get back into this game, and just like that, they're back in it. Let's break out the stat cast numbers. It's Singy. It tells us this home run was projected at more than 450 feet. Yeah, and not many players can hit home runs as far as this one. That's a special feeling, and I'm sure he was giggling a little bit as he was jogging around the bases. That was one heck of a swing he put on the baseball. Digging in, Wenzel Perez. Oh. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Lopez, in his seventh season, 30 years old now, he joined the team as a free agent. The Braves trying to protect a two-run lead, and we're in the top of the eighth. That one at triple digits. Activity in the bullpen. Rysel Iglesias getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. Bummer, the power lefty up as well. Righty delivers. That one lifted to left. Kelnick makes the catch. One away. The first baseman, number 21, Mark Canna. Mark Canna up now for the Tigers. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Looking good, 
right through there for a strike. No ball, one strike. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Nice swing to drive that pitch up the middle. Could have easily bit out in front on the off speed and pulled off of it, but he was looking to use the big part of the field, and he executed his plan perfectly. Urshela in the box, lays off for ball one. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. And another ball. Okay. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2 0 count. He's got to execute here, or this could get ugly. The tying run at the plate. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. This to center field. Harris has a beat on it. He's got it. And there's two down. Now back. Second base. Hold. Hmm. Here comes a new arm for the Braves. Dylan Lee. And he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. So digging in, Colt Keith. Three strikeouts already. He's 0 for 3. That's inside. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. And a foul ball. Tying run at the plate. Hit on the ground to the right side. And foul ball. The pitch that misses two and two canna the runner at first with two gone left hand batter waits still two and two after the foul ball And a pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Two outs. Three ball. Two strike. Three, two, two out. Runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Justin Henry Malloy waiting to hit for Detroit. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. About to see the 11th pitch of the at-bat here. That one ripped. And that's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. But when you see that many pitches in an at-bat, your chances of succeeding go up. And right there, we see the result. Looks like we've got a substitution at first. And coming in is the Tigers pinch runner, Akil Badu. Justin Henry Malloy getting ready to hit. That's in there. And that is strike one. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. And fouled off. Wow. 
So the tying run at second. Mm. Just misses there. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. And a pop off right side, foul territory. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. Detroit adds two on this homer. It's now 5 3. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Reese Olsen. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Now into the game, Andy Abanez. He'll play second. Number 77. Three, four, five due up for the home team. And now the DH, Marcelo Zuna, one for three. And the pitch. That one's in there. Strike one. You know, these Braves, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent, hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. The wide to kick the pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Ground ball to the right side. Could be extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. Around first, heading for two. To second, but way too late. Safe there. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets into scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. And now Matt Olson up to hit. There's a strike. On, that one finds the zone. 0 oh and 2. All right, now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. One and ball. the next pitch is way outside. Action in the pen down there. Tyler Holton, the young lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Right hander kicks deals. Gets a piece and stays alive. And that's in the dirt. Runner at second, nobody out. Up the middle. Throw sails over his head at first. And this ball's going to wind up out of play. So a big time costly mistake there. Next for Atlanta, Austin Riley. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. And a foul ball. One on, nobody out, a run in here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. In the air, left side, on the move. And it's caught for the out. Now the catcher now up to hit, catcher. Sean Murphy. John. Right through there for a strike. Huh. 
Ground ball left side. Slings to first, and that's an out. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel the right a long field. time. Number Got that hitter 14. out front. Rolled over it. Put Adam. it on the ground. Duvall. Now in for the Braves. Adam Duvall. Fastball for a strike. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. Man on second, two down. That one way outside. Going to count one and two. Wouldn't chase that time. Olsen stands at second with two gone. And down on strikes he goes. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. One run on two hits, one error, and one left on. Through eight full, Braves six, and the Tigers three. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Rysel Iglesias. And if you dig into his walk rate, his numbers are really impressive. He's really filled up the strike zone this season, so these batters better be ready to swing the bats. And now, Jake Rogers. He blasted one out earlier in the third. Just a solo home run, but an important swing of the bat in this game. We've already seen him do it once. Can he do it again? And it's fouled away. The 01. Good eye right there. Outside low. Two and one. And another ball. There's a strike. The line of the pitch. That's a good at bat right there. He was down early in that plate appearance. Works the walk. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. The next to hit takes ball one. One ball, no strike. The pitch. Ground ball right side could be two. Feed to second, that's one. They get the double play. And just one out to go now. Well, that's a huge ball in play to get the double play defensively. Just one more guy to get this save for the closer. So, last chance for the Tigers. And here is Matt Veerling. Just missed. One and one. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The Tigers down to their final strike. Now well, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here.
And that one is lifted in the air. And it falls. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. That's tremendous fight from him, and I know it's got the dugout fired up down there, down to the last strike, and he comes up with a hit to keep the game alive. It ain't over yet. Runner at first with two away. Riley Green up now for the Tigers. There's a strike. I love this part of the game. Does he really want to try and steal second against this catcher? I know he's fast, but it's pretty risky. The Braves trying to close out a three-run lead here at the top of the ninth. Going to now. That one missed. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Two outs. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. The Glacius throw over, oh, he and he's made. back in safely. Well, at least you got the pitcher thinking a little bit. You don't want to run yourself out of the ball game. You get thrown out or picked off, it's over. In the air, left field. And what a play! Ball game! What an exciting finish to this game. An amazing play right there. It's hard for the fans to go home. They want more. They're not ready to leave and head to their cars. But an outstanding job to keep entertaining all the way to the end. 6-3 our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.